StarCraft, I think, it has to be said, also have some of the best broadcasters in the biz. The legendary Tasteless Anartosis. What, what, uh, what do they do that's, that's good? Uh, they're just really funny, and uh, also insightful, but uh, they know when to be which at what time. I find it, I, that's amazing that they're able to, like, talk on stream while playing this game. Oh, no, like, uh, they're, they're, um, they're literally commentating matches, like, they, I mean, people, they do also do that, but, um, it's like, they, they're primarily just, like, casters, like, they just cast the matches, but also they're really fun. And also, if if I didn't have them, I would have to listen to the matches in Korean. And I'm, I'm not I'm not that good at Korean. I uh, that's just kind of amazing at all that they can do it. And like, because like when I play AOE and I stink, I'm like I'm not saying a word because I know I'll constantly forget stuff. Yeah, that's actually how I feel a lot about everything. Uh, particularly, like, when I'm playing StarCraft, I'm, I'm not saying anything, basically. It's a, it's so, it's such a struggle to actually, uh, to actually keep talking here. Uh, please take that down. Please actually, um, to run about it. Are they giving you, like, each, uh, each new uh, mission, are they giving you more things you can build? Because I don't remember you having tanks before. Uh, I could not before, so yeah, they're giving me, they're giving me tanks. Holy crap. Wait. What? Did he just walk over there? Oh my god. So yeah, my objective was to get this SCV here, and as you can see, he's very much alive. Our responsibility oh my gosh. is too great to do any less. So did you lose? Oh wow. Wait, he died the moment he got to that thing? Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. No, that's not like a, a planned thing either. That's like that just happened. Dang. Yeah, I just sent him over a while ago, kind of assuming he would take like the lower route through all my things, and I was just gonna catch him while I was managing my army. And um that that did not turn out to be the case. The Zerg, lured by the Psy emitter signal, descended upon the unsuspecting Confederate forces and annihilated them. Once again, the Protoss fleet, under the command of High Templar Tassadar, arrived in Incernary. Where are the Zerg after the, the ghost? Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. Dang, you're gonna kill them all except for Duke? Time of our final strike against the Confederate. Seems close at hand. Before we can strike a Tarsonus itself, however, we must break through these guys. The Confederacy is most potent defenses. Wipe out the Confederacy. General Duke will kind of brief you. Uh, uh, yes, they are actually. And you may think, major isn't that a bad idea? And some concerns have been raised uh, in the dialogue before, but uh, not by the people who actually make the decisions, so. If we assault for nothing is going to go wrong. Yeah, nothing's going to go wrong. To allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. We're going to We're going to assault a space platform. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then nothing compared to my Alpha squadron the boys. Right. But with the baddies. Right. Ooh, look at this! So this isn't like a planet, this is just like a space station. Yeah. That's my favorite unit, the bubbles. Sorry, Duke. Well. Alright, then. I'm listening. Oh, please don't use Duke that much. He's the worst. Go ahead, HQ. Uh, well, uh, sorry to say, but uh, I do use Duke. Well, make all up right, your man. mind. That's what he says. All right. Well, this 
exercise of action. It's a very obscure reference, but whenever I hear a voice like that in a game, I think of uh, Bart, Bart's Nightmare for SNES. When you do the uh, Isotope Man one, and he goes, Howdy! All right! Howdy! There was a period of time for about a week where I, like, legitimately was practicing that game a lot, and then I realized that it's just the hardest effing game, and no amount of practice will make you good. I want to do it for an LP, but it's just so hard. Also, isn't it just, like, RNG hell, too? It's that, and then the worst part is that freaking Indiana Jones one, like... I've watched video after video, and I can't figure out why I keep falling. Because it's, like, random, and I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't jump on the high ones, or I shouldn't jump on the low ones, and it's just, like, impossible. All the other ones I pretty much figured out. I can do the Godzilla one pretty easily, and I can always do the Itchy and Scratchy. The uh, Godzilla one, and you're going to fight. Oh, no, I mentioned that one. But the Isotope one's easy, but that Indiana Jones one I just cannot do. Those freaking Simpsons games, they're always so dang hard. Maybe I can do that sometime as an emulator thing, just to be like, well, there you go. Got all these save states start, uh, set up. So your goal in this one is just to kill all the opponents, right? Yep. And not, you cannot lose Duke. Wow, he has a huge ship. Yes, he does. And it does a lot of damage, and I'm very grateful for it. Good lord. Alright, so they found out I was here. And they're gonna act in a weird way. Ship, though. Your it's pretty good. Every time I turn around, it's just exploding something. Is there... You you repaired their ships before. Is there a certain uh, unit that does that? Yeah, the SCV does it. Um, but there's no unit that just heals it, like, with, with no cost. Like, it costs resources to repair the ship. So... You think about it, those villagers are pretty nice. 50 food, and you have a slave forever to make whatever you want. You can do anything. And it's not like, could you imagine how different that game would be if it was like, every time you build stuff, not only was it the resources, but it was like, 10 food because like, the villager needs like, sustenance or whatever. That'd be pretty crazy. That would be wild. Absolutely wild. 
like a Apple Watch. Could that be. wild, Ben? Could be. Could you be snowboarding? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, can we just go to Frogs? Yo, Ben, after this, we're going to Tobias Frogs, son! What is the deal with Tobias Frogs? What is the deal, indeed? I know I can't see the uh, thing at the top of the screen. Do you have a um, population limit? Yes. 44. It's uh, 200 uh, max, but uh, currently we have 44, soon to be vastly expanded. How do you see 44, Trevor? Uh, I'm looking at the screen. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the TV. If you split hard enough, you can see it on the top right. Uh, right now, it is 68. You cannot see that on the TV. Hey. Oh, I see it. It's 68. How many resources does he have then? Uh, like 390. Oh, too many. Don't don't say that. Don't ask how much I have. It's too well, much. he he did have 1100. Now it's like 500. <laughs> <laughs> he also has 240 parts. Parts as in gas. Get it! Ben! Get it! I do not, I do not get it. Get it. Oh, um, for that population limit, do you have to build a certain amount of, of things to have that much, or does yeah, he just to construct additional pylons? Yeah. Uh, I think that's a thing that's only relevant to the protest, but uh, I had to get the meat. And get him in your test. I pretty much had to construct like a house thing, like, for uh, you. That's all I want. Ben, don't yell at me. You are correct. Yeah. Probably those small, like, guys with those, uh, things. Might be. Who knows? I have a lot of SCPs here, and I probably don't need to. I'm having a rollout! Order, sir! Yes, sir! Those are my new favorite, uh, fruit. Proceeding! Scoping him out, you know. Thank you. 
increases their range. It's a really good upgrade, and I forget it all the time because there's no attack in StarCraft 2. So, I don't forget to assist. Wait, how do you upgrade troops? Uh, you research things in your buildings. Oh. You've either been doing it really fast or not been doing it much. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to upgrade. Uh, I get siege mode for tanks, so they can actually transform and hit really, really freaking hard. Uh, there's uh, the engineering bay, which has a bunch of upgrades and stuff. That guy who hosted who hosted Deal or No Deal, the bald guy, Howie Mandel. I'm pretty sure it was him in just some movie, and it was the scream he had as he was dying. And then everyone started using it. In fact, a lot of like a lot of very comp competent and good directors would like try to find a way to like put it into their movies without it like detracting from it because it's so crazy. You know, they would figure like. It's gotta be a pretty good movie if we can have that in it and it doesn't seem silly. So, pretty interesting. I personally like that, yeah! One even more. What else you gotta be doing, dude? What? Call the shot. Like what's what's his other plans that he'd be messing out? I don't know. He's just a real sour puss. Ghost report. I'm all over the place, boy. I'm gone. Can I not do that? I'm all over it. Do I have to? I have to be on the same level. That's it. Transmit coordinates. Let's go. Sector locked in. Gordon, you want a piece of me, boy? Let's move. Let's just go get it done. Let's move. Go get the the mission done. I'm here. I hear that. I hear that. I'm here. I'm all over it. Ghosts are scary. Ghosts are. Dude, that guy. Dude, come on. Did you kill him off? Just because he's all over it. Hey Ben, would you happen to say that you want a piece of that guy? Rip. What? That's over. What does that mean? Finally, it's over. Did you do that? Did you win? That wasn't me. 
I, I called down a nuke. That was the lamest nuke of all time. Yeah, but there aren't so many good nuke targets here. Everything's kind of spread out. Well, if you were to get like a mining base, that'd be pretty sick. What you should what should happen is that once you launch a nuke, it just clears the entire map. Um, might be imbalanced. No, that's fine. Nice. So that nuke earlier, what, what was the deal with that? I, I used a nuke. Oh, you said it. Yeah, I said it using the ghosts. Ghosts are the only ones that can call down nukes. Uh, nukes cost eight, like, supplies, and like 200 minerals and gas each, so they're pretty expensive. But if you can get one off, you can get a pretty, uh... So what, it just like destroys like a base or something like that? Yeah, basically. It should really be called something more like a missile or something, instead of a boot. Who are they? There's a lot of nukes. I always go to you for... Uh, I didn't use creative knowledge. Let's move. Let's move.
You're getting close to winning this one, Ben. Yeah. Uh, should be within the next couple minutes. Word up. Let me just, just look at this devastation. It's glorious. And all for nothing. You're killing your fellow people, Ben. Honestly, it's pretty impressive at the time that they made this, how much they were able to uh, do all at once in one scenario. Like, just the game in general. There's just so many, like, micromanagement type of things. So many, like, units having their own type of uh, AI and uh, working on everything. I think it's pretty cool. Especially since the maps are so big, and there's just literally like hundreds of units doing its own individual thing. Yeah, and for the most part, it, uh, it works. There are some instances in which it does not. Uh, for example... And I think in general, RTSs are like a genre that's incredibly easy to mess up, so... She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. Uh oh. So they're going too far with it. Of course. You're going too far, Mister. Alright guys, we'll see you next time with some more StarCraft action, maybe even finish off the scenarios! Ben, take us out! Uh... Bye. Woo!